Uh, before April mentioned us that we need to wear a uniform today, I plan to wear it. So when he mentioned this, I just think, God, that, that is a kind of damage to my creativity. Since, yeah, since I just thought I want to wear my uniform. So, so obviously, obviously you can know that my top is something with, about my high school life. So, it goes all around four years ago, yeah. So, maybe I can ask something to a question. Uh, I think all of you know that what the school of this, this school? Yes. yes. So, I want to ask uh, what's your opinion to this school? Okay, they have both, they have both girls and boys. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and blue sky. Blue sky. Yeah, blue sky. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, actually, you you know more than I knew before I entered this high school. Actually, in my when I in a junior high school time, I kind of I never thought of entering this high school since I was a school who always got the first prize. So I never thought of I would ever enter this comes uh, well this school. So, but as as all we know, that is not just a bad road. Is so I did not did well on my BA test. So I entered this school. At first, honestly speaking, I was quite angry and disappointed. So I was, I was so like, I would just hate to go to school and I just don't want to wear my this uniform. That's true. But after days after, I just thought, I just, I just found out I'm no special at all. All of my classmates there are kind of so intelligent and maybe kind of hard working than me. I'm no special. So it's time to stop to be self pitying and to be trying to enjoy your new life. Then I, I can try to enjoy the new the class activities and all kinds of this all kinds of new life provided by my own school. At first life is just as it was so it's like just uh, studying, so maybe studying, playing around, playing around with friends and maybe try to try to know the pretty girl living sitting in the next classroom these kind of things. But but it's uh, first, it's like a stop for me to enjoy my new life. In my second year, since I want to study finance in the future, so I decided to transfer to a language gifted class. So I think I can improve my English oral skills and other things. Sharpening these kind of skills, I think it will do well in my future. So I transferred to it. And the new class is kind of quite brand new from a city, kind of Mm, how to say that? It's a kind of the atmosphere is quite unique than other classes. All of our classmates are they are talented and they are they know many kind of things. Not only math, science, kind of boring things, and they they are actually they are quite crazy in them, in, in, to some degree. And also, all my homework teacher is also quite crazy. She she usually actually cooperated with us, try to play. Play trick on my on our class on my class on our class leaders and our class leader kind of being they just be blamed by my my whole teacher for no reason and he he was confused and kind of angry and to the last class my whole teacher said to him happy birthday and he didn't want to curse I know that <laughs> yeah and also this is a, a small class and we are trying quite full of creativity so even. Say one thing for example is quite an um, unforgettable memory for us. Yeah, for me, since that when the day last year, the April nineteenth last year, I can never forget this day. Since uh, the, the day is, I get admitted into it, NTU, and coincidentally, which is the day of my first day, so they just give me the, an excuse to try to do something not so good for on me. Yeah, so. They just try to make up a story and to fool me to trick me to the to near the pool of our school, the pool which is called Xinbei Pool, which literally has it is full of all kinds of things. Maybe I don't know, tadpoles, toads, and uh, all kind of aquatic creatures, and maybe all kind of textbook only everything you can find in the list of that pool, and you won't be surprised. So they just try to force me to get into it by myself. I say no. I just try to negotiate. And they, I, I, the more I negotiate with them, they lost patience. And 
then I just try to pull me into that form. And then it's kind of so, it's, yeah, so Im impressed, not impressed, so, yeah, ridiculous memory. And after that, I skipped two classes to go to the bath bathroom to make myself clean and skip two classes. Yeah. And, and, I mean, our class, although our class is quite small, we also got, we also got only close friends, so we, we can sacrifice all our, all our time to maybe to perform well in the class activity in these kind of competitions. And, and day by day, we get closer and closer, and honestly, it's the first time I really feel the kind of sense of belongings in my school. In toward the class and toward the school. Honestly speaking, yeah, I, I can say that I do fall in love with, with my school. I love it very much. Yeah, I still got 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, so, so if my, yeah, so this kind of, to this kind of things, I really love my school and also in most graduating ceremony, so I really don't want to graduate it's the first time. And still now, when there's a reason I will come back to my SSNU without any without hesitation. Just want to see my familiar friends, my familiar teachers, and see my familiar campus. And I will thought I, I want to use this quote from all the seniors as an end of my speech. At the beginning, it was just a school. In the end, it became your hometown. Thank you, PM. Thank you.